smoked buffalo baby back rib. A flavor explosion on your pellet grill or smoker. Hey, you've certainly had buffalo chicken wings before. If you're a fan of bold flavors and juicy meat, we got a real treat today. Now let's get started. I've got a rack baby back ribs. Now, the first thing that I want to do is cut these into individual ribs. You could cook the whole rack together, separate them later. Um, I like to separate them at first because then I can get seasoning all over all the sides. We've got our ribs cut up from a binder. We're gonna use a little Frank's. That's right. You can just sprinkle, it doesn't take a lot. Don't worry, it's not gonna make them too hot. All right, just come in here, get them all rubbed up, all sides. Now I'm going to season them. I don't know, can you see that? I'm using this, that's incredible. Uh, which is really a salt, pepper, garlic combination, right? You can just sprinkle a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic, if that's what you want to do. You don't have to have the seasoning that I got, right? Get, get all the sides all seasoned up. You don't have to worry about the backs too much, right? It's essentially a bone, but I would make sure I get the, the you know, anywhere you see some meat. And the final seasoning step, I like to come back in with a sweet barbecue rub. You, you can skip this step or use your favorite barbecue sweet rub. In this recipe today, the real flavor is going to come from the buffalo sauce we're going to put on these guys. So just use your favorite sweet barbecue rub. And I think that's going to do it for us. Now let's just let these ribs sit here and soak up this rub while we get the pellet smoker going. Pellet grill's up to 225. Just gonna get our ribs on here. Got our last one on. Let's get this lid down and start smoking. Now it's time to make that buffalo sauce. Well, I've got one half of a stick of butter melting here. Now what I've got is this Frank's, can you see that? Red hot, the wing sauce. Now, if you're using the hot sauce, you want to use a whole stick of butter. There we have a half a cup. Just want to let this butter get melted down into this. I said a half a cup. I'm sorry. It's about a cup of that uh, Frank's wing sauce. Half a stick of butter. Now what I've got is some dry garlic. You can use fresh garlic, but then your sauce is going to be a little chunky, and I don't like the chunky look. So there's one teaspoon, two teaspoons, fresh garlic. I said fresh. As you can see, it's a long day. Garlic powder. Okay, our sauce is getting there. Now the final thing I like to do, for this sauce anyway, is I've got some honey. I just like a little sweetness with my spice. And that's probably a quarter to a third of a cup. I know some people, the honey eaters will say, oh, if you heat the honey, you'll run the medicinal properties. I, I, I'm sure you're probably right. I'm all focused on the flavor right now. We're gonna get those ribs ready for this sauce. Hey, it's been about three hours and 15 minutes. I think these ribs are ready for the sauce. Yeah, you see that? That's what you're looking for. You see how easy that goes in? I hit the bone there. There's the meat, comes in and out. You're not so focused on the temperature. I mean, obviously you want it to be over 165, it's pork, but these are gonna be close to 200. They're ready to be sauced. So we got that sauce we made here. I'm gonna put each of these ribs in here. Now, if you had a bigger pan or pot, obviously it's gonna be a little easier. 
but I can make this work. I don't want to dirty up a bunch of pots. You see how that is? Looks good, doesn't it? Just coat them up. Then we're going to get them back on this pellet grill. It won't be long. We just want that sauce to get a little caramelized, right? So we about got our ribs on here. Look at the color. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be like pork rib chicken wing. Now let's get our lid down. Let these guys caramelize up. So total cook time has been about three hours, 25 minutes. The sauce is set. I'm going to get these ribs off this pellet smoker. I had a little flare up so you can see I moved them over to the sides. Even a pellet grill will flare up now and then. We're going to get these off here and you know what comes after this. Taste test. Now while these ribs are sitting here rested, let me tell you how I cooked this today, right? We started off 225 degrees. I went for one hour. I start lower because I believe it lets those ribs soak up more smoke. Then I cranked the temp up to 275, thinking it was, uh, you know, a little more than three hours before I sauced them. And then it was another 10 or 15 minutes uh, to let that sauce set. When you cook these ribs individually, the cook time is way shorter than when you cook that whole rack. Got our ribs here. Now we're just gonna come in with the little ranch. And then finally, just a little parsley for some collar. There's our ribs. Look at that beautiful collar. Moment of truth. <laughs> obviously you get the buffalo sauce right what's nice so much more meat on the bite compared to a chicken wing got that little spice in the end these would be another perfect recipe for game day if you like this rib recipe i've got two more right down below <laughs>